The charred remains of a Ukrainian military convoy, all that's left after an ambush by Russian-backed separatists. It seems like this that have NATO officials pushing for a new rapid reaction force, one that can deploy within days to help member states on Russia's borders. But while U.S. troops have been taking part in ramped up war games to reassure nervous European allies, at the White House Tuesday there were questions about how much Washington is willing to contribute. Certainly the United States will be supportive of uh, any sort of alliance decisions so that are contribute made. troops, that option remains available that the U.S. will consider. Well, there are, there are already troops, uh, uh, in some cases operating under the NATO banner, in some cases just operating on American military bases. NATO officials say the Rapid Reaction Force is part of a larger plan that's expected to be endorsed by leaders at this week's summit in Wales. The force would include several thousand troops based in their home countries, with air, sea and special forces support. The spearhead force will be the first step, but of course it will be followed uh, by more force uh, if uh, needed. But we do believe that there is a very strong deterrent. Such talk has irritated Moscow. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov saying it's getting out of hand. It is necessary to restrain the war party in Kiev. And in reality, only the U.S. can do this. At the Pentagon, Rear Admiral John Kirby responded. You want to talk provocative, let's talk about a few thousand Russian troops inside eastern Ukraine. Still, some NATO members like Estonia say what's needed is more than a new force. For us it would be important that both NATO and the U.S. Uh, will be present in our region uh, as long as, as Russia is continuing its aggressive policies. So we're talking about uh, a continuous um, or more sustainable uh, presence of both NATO and the U.S. in the region. Estonia's chief of mission to the U.S. telling VOA his country already has adequate facilities, including one of the most modern military airfields in northern Europe. Jeff Selden, VOA News, Washington.